Well, old Uncle J Pal did it again. He wanted to come out here and just light it up, and he did. He told us what we expected, and that was that the Fed was not done being hawkish, and that anybody out there thinking that these yields can't go higher, oh, stand back, hold my drink, says old Uncle J Pal, and he takes it to the next level. And we're going to discuss this because right now you're starting to see people change their tunes when it comes to the treasuries. And I don't know if that's a sign that we should be jumping on this, but it's definitely something we need to look at. Now, before we get into it, make sure you take advantage of coming over and joining the Stock Squad. We got that Patreon down below where you can join and get into the Discord with me, Larry Jones, Josh, and Keenan. Good stuff. And the Stockmo Patreon, folks. If you haven't come over and seen my portfolio, please do. You will see everything we are buying and selling over there lately. It's been a lot of fun. And, uh, of course, we're going to be doing some live streaming where we're doing some trading in there as well. Uh, okay, we also have the Moo Moo link down below. Get your five free shares for $100 deposit and Weeble where you get any deposit. Gets you up to 12 stocks worth up to uh, 30600 So good deals. Now, Dow Jones dies amid Powell Pledge. Of course it does. You know he wasn't going to say we're done. I've been saying this forever that Jay Powell is going to come out with his unruly friends and tell us that, look, we're not done. Inflation is not down to 2%. We got a long ways to go. If anything goes wrong with the data, we're going to come in and knock it out with more rate hikes. He continues to use the words to drive the yield so they don't actually have to change the rates. And then the question becomes, how much higher are they going to go? Well, you're already seeing a lot of changes out there. The markets are going to get hit harder as these yields go higher. And you're seeing it today. People are trying to figure out what's going on with the markets. They're collapsing. Well, folks, if you haven't been watching, you are seeing some massive changes out here. Look at this. Now, you might say, whoa, Mo, that's the two-year, 5.61. It's down. Shouldn't that be fantastic? Well, that's the two-year. And that's probably one of your best opportunities right now is to buy the two-year which i'm actually considering doing a little bit of that and then we move out and we take a look at the 10-year now when the 10-year crosses back over the two-year is when you have to be nervous because that my friends is when a recession is just a mere few a uh, few months away i'm thinking three to six possibly uh, and that's my take on that so you look at the two-year five point one six drop five basis points and then we go up and we take a look at the 10 year up nine basis points in a single day basically five percent and we'll say 17 basis points difference between the two that's ugly that has changed dramatically in the last few months and you're continuing to see uh since may look at this thing it was down 3.72 it is getting up there and now with that being done uh, you can see this. It's the two-year. and We get over to the 10-year is what I wanted to look at since April. There it is. Uh, 3.28. This thing is up. One, oh, man. It's getting close to that two full percentage points. And that's just massive. So we move over to the 20-year. Look at the rate on this thing. 5.347. Are you kidding me? That is crazy. And then uh, we move over to the 30-year. That is up 12 basis points today. The 20 year was up 11 basis points. You put it all together, folks, times are getting ugly. Now the question becomes, how much higher can it go? Well, it can go as high as the Fed's going to let it go. Remember, anything over 4, 4.25, uh, the Fed gets nervous. The Fed does not like that because they know the debt of the U.S. is tied to this. And of course, that means more interest payments for the U.S. And there's a lot of pain. But then we start to come out and we think, is it too much? Well, U.S. Treasuries at 5% are a buy. Uh, Morgan Stanley Investment says. So they are now seeing the same thing we are seeing. For those who got in early, the pain has been fantastically great, which I know personally. Uh, but if the 10-year Treasury yield hits 5% or higher, that's a good entry point for investors, according to Morgan Stanley. Well, there you go. Let's come over and take a look. 4.99. Well, folks, looks like maybe tomorrow you get your 5%. You heard what they said. It's a good entry point because everybody knows that most likely we are going to see the Fed come out and not do anything. When the, the yields get up to 5 to 5.25% 5 for the 10-year, 
I don't think there's much to be nervous about in terms of how high are they going to go because the Fed is already super constrictive in what they're doing. Now, the pain, you got to ask yourself this too. I know there's people out there, and if you're with me on this, put the fire emoji, put the TLT, the TMF, whatever you're in with the treasuries, put it in the comments, folks. Let me know which one you're in. Now, here's the, the two sides of this story. One, you are now starting to see the big houses, the big financial companies come out and say, look, if it hits 5%, this might just be a long-term steal. This is where you buy. And they have said for a while, four, maybe not. You know, we don't know what the Fed's going to do. And, of course, the Fed absolutely kicked everybody in the teeth. Now we're moving forward, and now we're at five, and the Fed knows that a lot of the work's been done for it by getting these yields higher, and more money's going to come out of equities, go into these long-term treasuries. And, of course, it's going to slow everything down because borrowing for corporations and people gets more and more expensive. These yields go higher. And so now that we see this, we know the Fed doesn't have to continue to go crazy to get it where it needs to do. It already is there. And so I think you're going to have the Fed continue to talk very hawkish because they want these yields higher for longer. So it does the work for them. And you're not going to see another rate hike. We may have had the last pause. We may be done. We could be sitting in that sweet area where we're near the top, but we just don't know it. We also could be in the middle where the rates go all the way up to six, seven, eight percent. That's the tough thing because the Fed's not giving us a lot to use because every time they give us data, they change it. They tell you, oh, we're going to top out at 4.5 to 4.75. They go to 5.25 to 5.5 and possibly more rate hikes on the way. We just don't know. It depends on the data. So we'll watch that. But I did want to bring that up. Let everybody know because, of course, if you've been following these stocks, they've been getting hit hard. TMF down again into the threes. Are you kidding me? 3.89. Oh, man, just absolutely ugly out there. You're seeing a lot of pressure. When you see the yields of these go through, uh, especially the 20 and the 30, that's what makes up the, the, the TMF. You see this up 11 basis points. You see this up 11 basis points, both up. 20 and 30 both up 11 basis points that's going to hit tmf hard and it's also going to hit tlt hard but not in the triple leverage way and so you come in here and you see this one that's going to be down it's going to be an ugly day for that one as well so i've been watching this but i also do agree with them saying look Five percent. This is an opportunity for those who can stomach maybe a little bit more pressure. But long term, you are locking in five over five percent. I want you to think about this right now. If you buy a 20 year treasury right now, you have the ability. And I'm talking something like TLT. This is 20 year plus. So you get a combination of 30 and 20. But you could buy 20 year treasuries right now from the Fed. Lock in a 5.348%. And this is for 20 years you get that 5.35%. Folks, that is insane. That is so high. Because the idea is that we have to know the Fed is going to lower the rates because the service on the U.S. debt is so big. And they spent so much money that they want to go ahead and get that rate back down so they can continue to spend as they want. But if they ha keep having these rates go higher and higher and higher, let me tell you something. The government and the spending and the budgets, everything is in trouble. Things will break, businesses will collapse because the new higher interest rate when re they refinance their debt, it's gonna collapse a lot of companies. Do not think that these rates going up have no effect on businesses in other countries around the world. They do. Something is going to break. It's not like it happens overnight. It can take time. And that time, in my opinion, is going to be the next six months. A lot of major debt out there is going to have to be refinanced. And when they do, it's going to absolutely hurt a lot of people. And that's not a good thing. But for the Fed, it's going to get them where they want. They want a recession because they want to go ahead and get inflation broken. They can get out of the recession quickly, which they know how to. Stimulus checks. I know you're thinking stimulus checks. Yes, stimulus checks. And at that point, they get to where they want. They have, they have targeted stimulus checks, unemployment extended, 
and they go ahead and get us out of that recession and grow the economy the size they want to. And they can control that inflation much better than writing trillions of dollars in free money. They can't have that happen again. So once they get it back down, they will slowly work that rate back down to under 2%, around 2% inflation. It might take them a year or two to get there, but they will. If you agree with that statement, if you agree that the Fed will get inflation to 2%, either by a soft landing or a hard landing, if you agree with it, you might not agree with the recession. You might say, Mo, they're going to do it, but they're going to do it without a recession. Fine, we, we can disagree on that. But let's think about it this way. If we agree they're going to get there, what is the play to make the most money off of the Fed actually succeeding? And the answer is the 20 and 30 year treasuries. Now, the question is timing. I don't have the crystal ball. I wish I had a crystal ball. I do not. But if I can find one, if I can borrow one off some other people we all know who have them, then I will be able to predict when we should be able to get into this at the perfect time. Right now, it's eluding everybody. A lot of the big bulls in the, the treasuries got smoked. I was including me, of course, and I'm not giving up, though, because now we're at that point where you say, well, how much higher could they go, Mo? And how much more pain could we have? Is it going to be the massive, we're going to lose another 50% of the money if we get in it today? Or is the most pain done, maybe we lose another 10 percent if that happens i don't know i think most of the pain is already done now and once you get to five i thought five to 5.25 for the 10 years would be the max range and that's the max range and we're already in that max range when we see it at five so it's like wow uh you know so i'm watching all this but that's my opinion on this let me know what you think down below because if you believe that the fed will succeed even two years from now think about it they're going to start cutting rates if a recession are cutting quick if they have a soft landing they're cutting slow but they will cut and as they cut what's going to make a lot of money tlt 20-year treasury 30-year treasury even 10-year treasury and right now people ask me what's the best thing probably probably the two-year the two-year because when you see all the changes going to be happening right now two years priced perfectly like today was a good day for the two-year I think moving forward, I showed you some of the estimates out there. The two-year gives you probably the lowest risk, but you're not going to get a huge return, but you are going to make some money on it. So I do like the two-year too. So I might be switching some of my T-bill into two-year. So keep that in mind. All right, folks, if you haven't done it, get over to the Stockmo Patreon and the Stock Squad Patreon. Get your free stocks from Moomoo and Weeble down below. I appreciate you stopping by. Let's get out there and make some money.